Hello everyone and welcome back to Okami HD. I am Tanil. And I'm Sean. Or should I say I'm Rao? Rao. <sighs> hmm. So last time we got to the sunken ship and we're exploring it when we kind of reached a dead end here. And as Rao thankfully pointed out to us, we've got a bit of the sky showing here and if it turns into daylight, We'll flood the ship. Yeah. But wait, we're in the ship. Don't worry, it's okay. It doesn't flood the whole way. That's impossible. It can't be daybreak yet. Surely this can't be. You didn't do this, did you, Amaterasu? Your powers can control the very movement of the heavens. So, yeah. I just want to say, though, that this was actually a puzzle that stumped me a bit the first time I played this game. <laughs> I, like, actually went outside the ship and, like, tried to turn it day there before realizing that I could have just turned it day inside the ship. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. That thing's huge. Looks like a humongous balance scale or something. Wonder what it was used for. It's only got weight on one side. That's what I call an unbalanced balance. Well, looks like we'll have to find a way to fix that. But, let's go back through the flooded ship. Yay! Swimming! <laughs> Your favorite! But of course. I see you have your own mode of transportation. I do. And we got pushed off the lily pad. Mm -hmm. Not these guys again. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like sharks. No. I don't want to deal with a dead demon uh, shark. Let's get up here. Let's see if I can... I think you're just going to have to attack it quite a bit to get through that armor. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. It's going to land on you. Oh. Oh. Kind of got... There you go. You've broken off both the front and the back. Look how much my beads are doing, man. Yeah, it's like a shotgun. Just gotta wait for them to come back. Oh, you killed it. Wow, holy cow. You didn't try to do any sort of floral finisher on it? Uh, nope. Yeah, <laughs> good job. Well, hey, you killed it with, like, very little damage to yourself. Yeah. Good job. I don't like that enemy. Oh, uh, I don't know many people who do. I think a lot of people agree that that enemy is, like, one of the worst. Mm -hmm. TBH. It's just like, I, I don't want to deal with this. And now we get to go through this whole section again, except now we're up higher. Huh. Oh. And new spiky spots can get us. Yeah. And now we're back in the main room. Yeah. Now look, there seems to be a barrel there. I don't know why they bother giving you all these platforms when you can make platforms yourself. Eh, convenience. Um, uh, you just glitched right through that barrel. Yes, I did. Huh. There you go. There we go. And now we can get over to the other side of the ship. Mm-hmm. Looks like we got a cannon. And a door down there under yeah. the water. And a holy bone S. Yes! Woo! Whoop. Good job. Gimme. He said, Gimme! All right. So, huh. And huh. So, with this cannon, we can actually tilt it by standing on it and move it down and up. Huh. Mm -hmm. And then we just throw a bomb in. And it'll shoot whichever one we're aimed at. Yeah. We want to point it down just a little bit more. I'm glad you're the one doing this. Yeah. 
You don't like these? Well, it it's awkward. It is a little awkward. Uh, there, there you go, you go. got it. And I think there's one more at the top. There is. It's a key that's underwater. Up. Oh. Alright. Eh. There we go. Fabulous. Now you just need to get in there. Hey. Let's make myself a lily pad. Oh, no. A lily pad over here. I bet you could jump to that. Oh, yeah, yeah easily. If I can just draw a straight line, please. You still need to go get it, though. I know. <laughs> get rid of those. Go over here, and then... Ugh. Man, double jump. I like double jump. It's so helpful. And hey, Sun Fragment. I think that's the first one, though, we've gotten for this... Yeah, because we just recently... Ooh, I landed right on my lily pad. Nicely done. Now, unfortunately, we uh, still have water everywhere, so we're going to have to move on for now. Yep. Oh, looks like we got a ghost in there. Yeah. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. He's dead. <laughs> and we get a demon fang. Oh, more ghosts. You only okay, got one. Only one. It's kind of hoping you can get all three in one go. Mm hmm. That would be nice. All right. I want to take a look around, make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope. Doesn't look like you're missing anything yet. Here's a chest, though. <laughs> Just not getting any of my straight lines in. Nope. And another stray bead. Ooh. Fantastic. Good stuff. Oh no! It's this room! Yep. This is a... Uh, this is a terrifying room. Yeah, I know there's... There's certain things in this game that I've seen people like, Oh man, this part scared me or that part scared me. This was always like the most nerve-wracking part of this game for me. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> there you go, you All did right. it. Oh, die! No! Leave me alone! I think you were actually supposed to go the other way. Well, I can go up that way. Oh, gosh. I like, don't like this. But you need to go across. No, no, no. It's fine. Oh, okay. Now we just need to get this barrel uh, over to these hooks. Thankfully those creepy hands are leaving you alone for now. And yeah. hey, this is on the opposite side of uh, where we just were. Yeah. Kachunk. And hey, now it's set up correctly. Oh, oh, look, and you can see it down there. That's its face. Get me back up there, please. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. no. Uh. Go away. No, thank you. Ugh. I think that's probably my least favorite room in the entire dungeon, if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah. I mean, that went fairly smoothly, but it mm -hmm. could go so much worse. Now, uh, this just brings us back here. Uh, so why don't we make it night again, and it'll probably make some changes happen again. I mean, of course, it's going to drain everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe we'll have a chance to deal with some of the crap now in that other room. And with our double jump, we can get up here. Oh, and go back in here, unfortunately. But... Well, thankfully, those hands don't exist anymore. They don't. They if can't survive outside of the water. 
Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Giant like seaweed it. demon thing. But we're actually, oh gosh, if I can get on these, we're actually going to try and get rid of this guy for good. Ugh, if I can do this. Or just keep hitting the spikes. Yeah. We can roll over this guy. Almost there. Yep. Yep. Well, I guess you can go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, he's changing colors. Uh, okay, oh, there we there go. There you go, you killed him. And it gets us 50 praise. Yeah, so definitely worth your time to take care of this. Blech. Cool. <laughs> cool. Great. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, and now that we're done with that, we head back over to where the cannon was. Now, without water. Yes, because... Before, we blew this up, and we couldn't get this, but now, we can. And if you want to go back over, they've got a little thing, a little platform there. You Water can take spout, up. yep. Die. Shane. <laughs> and, with all that out of the way... Got another gate. We got one last gate, because... This dungeon is done. Yep, that's it. It's a pretty short one. No boss or Ow. anything. Oh. Get out of here. Get out of here, Crimson Helm. Can you not move forward? No. You can very slowly Ugh. move forward. Ooh, look at all the treasure. We're rich. Okay, so uh, get out of here. No one wants you. Okay, so you actually want to make sure that you open the chest in the middle last, because otherwise a cutscene will happen. Come on. I know you're here. I mean, if you look at them, the brightly colored ones are the enemies, and the yeah. darker ones are treasures. Real treasure chests. Mm hmm So you can avoid the bad ones if you want. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ah! Where are we? Right there! <laughs> Getting our butt kicked. Okay. Maybe just keep your distance. Gotta be close enough that they try and reach out to grab me. Mm hmm. Okay. Huh. Hey, stray bead! Very nice, and Fantastic. I think that's all the stray beads here. Probably. I'm just double check. Something yep. chip. One and two. Oh, hey. Yeah. Real quick, come back in here. Yeah. Uh, I know there's been a couple of requests for it. Go to the bestiary, because we've had a lot of enemies that we just oh, haven't. Oh, yeah. Like, haven't looked at at all. Black Imp. Regarded as the most fearsome imp, tales abound of their evil nature. The skulls they manipulate are said to be. Uh, those of human victims. The act of drawing them is thought to bring doom to one's house. Ooh. Exercising the skulls with the brush before viewing is advised. If you're, if you've no brush, use a finger to draw a slash through them. <laughs> Chimera, disguising itself as a kettle to fool onlookers, this creature is. Composed of parts from many others, it is said to have been transformed from an ordinary kettle by evil. It cannot be damaged when inside the kettle part. A legend says that repeated hits make the color drain. Then all you have to do is slash it in two and watch it vanish. I think you might just want to back out. Yeah, but I just love seeing like how this all goes together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd say just back out and we'll yeah. just go through it that way. Headless Guardian. Headless Guardian statue possessed by the spirit of a rapscallion. Searching for its head at night, he may knock on your very door, shouting, Give me back my head or I'll take yours instead. Ooh. Is this guy next to anybody? I don't think so. 
next to Orochi. Ooh, Ooh, look at this one. Ooh. It's so cool. Look how dead he is. Look how dead he is. But just the blood everywhere. Mm-hmm. You gonna check it? I will, but like also you can see like the faded Orochi head mm -hmm. there too. All right. Orochi. Serpent banished 100 years ago by Shiranui and Nagi. Each head has a different elemental power. Earth, wind, fire, water, thunder, poison, light, and darkness. The bell on its back tolls 108 times, one for each desire of its sacrifice. Legend has it, has it that avoiding attack and making it drink eight purification sake when angered was Nagi's technique. The water head is angered by attacking while bathing. Thunder is angered by losing sight of its target. Poison, poison and wind attacks can be countered with wind. This was Nagi's strategy. So yeah, just kind of giving you some hints there. Ubume. Ubume. A bird possessed by the soul of a woman slain by a samurai's blade. It has no trouble deflecting any sword attack with its umbrella. Then it wastes no time using its dark essence to launch a counter. A great monk advises that this pattern can be taken advantage of. When the umbrella comes up to block, blow it back with the wind. The creature will recall its life as a woman and cease attacking. Okay. We've got the bandit spider next to it. They say, that which we do not possess is of little value. This difficult to find beast deceives humans and robs them of their possession, then steals away to hide deep underground. If you happen to spot one, prepare your finest treasure as bait. Yeah, so I think that means that you can actually like throw items down and it'll be distracted by it. Really? I may be incorrect there, but that's kind of what it seems that like it's kind hinting of, at. Yeah, it seems to be hinting at it. Fire Eye. This gigantic wheel is said to display a giant eye in its center. Legend says that viewing the demon causes one's eyes to boil. Ooh. No one has been brave enough to view one, but one curious woman waited with her dar ajour until the rumbling sound started. Afraid, she prayed. The gods answered her plea with a divine wind that put out the fire. People now write a Matarasu's wind on their doors for protection. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we come this way. We can see the ice mouth. Oh, I thought it was ice lips. Oh, so did I. Hmm. A woman who made frigid comments was bound to be a de bound to a demon wheel. Now icy, she rolls through the city streets, freezing those with open mouths. Smoke a pipe or use inferno to burn this evil foe. I love all the little like lore that goes mm -hmm. along with these. Thunder ear. An old saying says, good medicine often leaves a bitter taste. In other words, advice may seem harsh to the ears, but it is for our own good. The spirits of those who cannot take advice are bound to wheels. Perhaps wind could drown out the harsh words of this foe. Ichiro. <laughs> Jiro and Saburo combine to become the mighty Ichiro. This shark patrols the ocean, attacking fishermen and causing trouble. Meeting him in the water spells doom, but if you have have a footful, foothold Hold. on a boat or a lily pad, you can lure him close and attack his belly. Doing so knocks him out and gives you a chance to attack. Or use your bullets. <laughs> Just your shotgun. Bullets. I like how there's this, the, the imp ghost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, here we go. These guys are right next to him. Well, he, I will well, check them out. I just wanted to take a look at the artwork. It's mm -hmm. pretty. Jiro and Saburo are the spirits of a couple who jumped into the sea when their marriage was opposed by their parents. Jiro resembles a hermit crab with a shark head for a shell. It throws sea urchins to protect Saburo and use its own hard hide for defense. Attack over and over in the shell should disengage. Oh man, that's sad. Sad Saburo digs holes to reunite with its partner, Jiro. It believes that by digging to let water in, the two can be reunited in the sea. Variations on the Saburo legend exist, especially in sea villages. Mm. Oh, and that was right next to this one. Mm -hmm. Crimson Helm. For a hundred years, 
This leader of all evil in Taka Pass has waged war with the forces of the Gale Shrine. It boasts long swords and armor. Beneath the shell, the true body lies hidden among burning flames. To expose the body, the shell must be removed or destroyed. Even unarmored, the roiling flames make it difficult to approach. A divine wind can extinguish the flame and expose its true form. Nice. Yeah. And that's actually it. That's good. For now. I think we should try to be, keep try, up with that. Try to keep on that often. a little more often so we're not just doing like a whole block yeah. of that. But I, I love this. I'd honestly love to get like a print. That like was a just a whole thing. That's just the whole thing. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, let's actually get what we came here for. Let's get the fox rods. Sorry to make you wait, Rao. <laughs> you obtained Lucky Mallet. That, that, that's, that's not, not the fox, fox rods. rods. What is this? Finally, something interesting. Wait, this is a lucky mallet. Is this what you were looking for, babe? It can shrink people down until they become so small that they can pass through the eye of a needle. Certainly a tool with such powers is a great treasure, but it doesn't provide an answer to Queen Himiko's prayers for peace. Hmm, someone else mentioned an eye of a needle lately. Oh, yeah, it was that half-baked prophet Waka back in Seon City. Remember? He said something like, Even the most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle, Mashari. <laughs> Wonder what kind of place he was talking about. Amaterasu, it seems that what I was looking for isn't on this ship. Unfortunately, we must leave without it. Ah, cheer up, babe. The ocean's a big place. You'll find what you want somewhere. That may be so. But going into the ocean now is suicide. Well, as long as the water dragon is still about, that is. Sheesh, nobody can shut up about that thing. You'd think the water dragon ru ruled Ryoshima Coast or something. Well, don't forget we have Boss Ami here to deal with us. Let's go think things over back in the city. I'm sick of this ship. You said it, soon. Let's get out of here. So uh, it looks like it doesn't just teleport you out. Yeah, I forgot. It does actually wait until you leave the room and then it teleports you out, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Looks like it's morning. Yep. That's fine. We can swim back. Oof. That's a long swim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't you swim any faster, Amaterasu? Huh? I mean, what do you expect, babe? Ami's a wolf, not a speedboat. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I get it, babe. You want to go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> we don't mind. Oh, jeez. And there's nothing wide. but wide open sea all around. Nobody's looking. Go ahead. That's what everyone does. You don't understand. This swelling of the waves is a sign that it's coming. Uh-oh. We'll be helpless if we're attacked here. Here we go again. If it is that water dragon, was it? If it is, we'll take care of that beast in a jiffy. It'll regret the day it messed with us. No! <laughs> what, what, what the? I love the design of this thing. Where'd that thing come from? Look at Rao go! Is that the water dragon? Yes, Isun! That's the water dragon! Look out! Oh no! Uh huh. Whoa, we Why are... are we all the way out here? <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh. No! Wow. 
well. As a special note, you can actually get away from the water dragon in that. I've done it a few times. Really? Yeah. Huh. Although I don't know why the game put us all the way out there. I don't know if that's something they fixed in the HD port is that you can't get away from the water dragon, but I've hmm. been able to get away from it sometimes okay. if I get close enough to land. Huh? Where are we? We're not go- Oh, cruel world! I'm too young and handsome to die! Er, on second thought, maybe we just washed up on shore. Did you see what attacked us? It was huge! What the heck was it, Ami? Nobody told me something like that was on the loose around here. And what's with that busty babe? She just took off without us. Boy, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind next time we meet. Oh, hey, our treasure. Hmm, this mallet just jumped out by itself. Whoa, I hate to see treasure run off like that. After it, Ami. Come back here, mallet. So yeah, we got a uh, mallet now. Well, Not... we're trying to get a mallet. Yeah. But yeah, the mallet's essentially going to work like a crazy taxi arrow. Mm -hmm. It's just going to lead us to where we need to go. It's not actually going to like run off on us. Yeah. Huh. And shock and surprise, it's leading us back to the city. I bet you can guess exactly where it's leading us. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it seems Rao has quite the skills there. Yeah, she just she was swimming on our back. She didn't need to do that. She was just jumping on the water like it ain't no thing. Mm-hmm. Also, the water dragon seemed particularly like angry at her. At her, yeah. Like wanting to get after her. Mm-hmm. So we're probably gonna have to deal with that water dragon for her sake. Uh, hi, swordsman guy! Or should I say fisherman guy? He's and bye! He's both. <laughs> hop, hop! Well, let's see, is Rao back yet? Yep. Hey, you! Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Amaterasu. Hey, babe, what are you doing here? And how come you didn't tell us about that monster? She tried, Isun, multiple times. Multiple people did. Uh, I'm sure I mentioned it some something about the water dragon, didn't I? Uh, bow, whatever. Anyway, you'd better not be trying to trick us. What are you talking about? I was nearly eaten alive too, you know. But however did you get away? You're a rather slow swimmer. Hey now. What did you just say? Take that back. Ami gets kind of sensitive about her flaws. <laughs> Sorry. The fox rods. Yeah. If they're not on that ship, then where on earth are they? If they're lost in the sea, the vast realm of the water dragon, there's no way we'll ever find them. Oh, cheer up. I'd hate to see you and your two friends cry. Uh, how, how, do, how would they cry? Hmm. I don't want to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure something out, Rao. Yep. Yeah, it might take us a little bit. We'll but we'll get it. Yeah. Oh. But first, we got this. Uh, we still got our treasure to get. We got this lucky mallet that's uh, running away from us. Come back, come back. Uh, I'm curious. Can we loom these? Nope. Nope. All right. Still super evil and cursed and sickly. Yeah, mostly sickly. And, uh, uh, get it. we're gonna corner you here. Ah. <laughs> now we got you cornered, you you mallet. No treasures ever escape from the great Isun. I'm gonna sell you to some greedy merchant and hmm. Hey, wait. Check it out, Ami. Isn't this the place where that swirling mist is coming from? You made us chase you here for a reason, Mallet. Wait, I think I get it. The Lucky Mallet can shrink people, right? You want to shrink Ami here. Then you want us to go into that creepy looking hole, don't ya? I don't know. Why would Hammerhead here want us to go in there? Hmm, still, it might be worth checking out, Ami. 
I mean, this palace has got to be the source of that mist. If Queen Himiko's not going to do anything about this mess, then it's up to us to find out the truth. Anyway, we haven't found a single brush technique in this darn city. How could we possibly pass up this palace? Okay, Mallet, we'll enter the hole. Now come on and work your magic on Furball here. Ready to get hammered, Al Mommy? Well, it sounds like a great time. Let's get next, hammered next time. Next time. <laughs> on Okami HD, we will go ahead and uh, get hammered and I guess... Woo, party time! <laughs> it's alcohol. <laughs> Alright, see y'all then. Bye-bye!